Welcome to another video on AVFTS Rats. My name's Josh, and I'm going to be bringing you my live and raw reaction of a massive rivalry, massive derby game that happened in the MLS last night. It is, of course, the game Portland Timbers versus Seattle Sounders. I'm hoping for this game to live up to the expectation, the hype that I've heard from many soccer fans in the US about how great this is. I'm hoping for goals, I'm hoping for some drama, and even some great fan reaction. If you do like this sort of content, then please smash the like button, subscribe as well for more reactions, and I'm going to be bringing you all this live and direct on AVFTS Rats. So without further ado, let's get into this video and let's see what this rivalry has to say for itself. Levin Taylor, we begin with the Portland Timbers who see Frank Bowley and the uh -huh. make their first start to the year. Here we go. So just going back to the uh, previous team, Daniel Ailala was a centre mid who I recognise. I think he played at Middlesbrough back in the day. Um, an interesting striker uh, was making his debut for the uh, Portland Timbers in terms of his first start. So that's pretty cool. Tensio Albert Rusnak out and Christian Roldan placed in the concussion protocol late in the week. It still feels not sure I recognise too many of those names on the Seattle Sounders. Maybe Trump Morris. The referee tonight, and we are underway at Providence Park. The one hundred. Providence Park. Seventeen. Like the name of that stadium. Of the Timbers cleared by Yamar. Ladero into space for Leo Chu. Oh, great ball. Here comes Seattle. Go on, then you put that in an area. Got it. Ooh. Bravo getting in the way. Big intervention from. Very good piece of defending there. It looked very certain that uh, Jody Morris was about to tap one in for Seattle. Defender for Portland's covered across so well there. Um, and uh, yeah, great piece of defending. A key piece of defending, to be fair, to deny a goal. Claudio Bravo. Here is Evander. It is into the wall. Now Bravo. Muscara's got some room. Sends the cross in. Fry sure hands to hold on for Seattle. A change. So, two clips on the first half action. Clearly, not too much uh, happening in that first half. Um, as I said, we saw that one chance for Seattle uh, with an incredible piece of defending from Portland. And in that last play there, really, the attacker there should be pulling that back. It, the ball's too close to the keeper. He needs to be pulling that back. So, he should all go off, hopefully, in the second half, considering there's still another uh, six minutes of clip to go. Ten goals each of the last two years. Still waiting for his first this year. Maybe a first Portland needs to get back in here. For Jordan Morris today as the shot takes a Oh, what a save. Is able to get his what hand a to save. That looks like it was a bit of an awkward one. Let's have a look at that again. Is, is that an awkward one? Is it a bit of a deflection? Delayed, so. That's actually a very, very good save there. You can see it takes a deflection, which changes the flight of the ball. Keepers reacted so well there. Fair play. Under himself, and he yeah, a great save. 35th time, including the playoffs. Still no goals yet. He's played against Seattle. Good pass. You hit them. Rui Diaz! There's the moment for Seattle! That it's is class. Rui Diaz, that is an unbelievable finish, but it's also an unbelievable assist from that player who ever just cut it back. Rui Diaz, what a finish that is. Portland couldn't do anything about that, but that is an incredible finish by uh, Seattle Sanders or Rui Diaz there. Let's have a look at that again. Once again at Providence Park against the Timbers. Very impressed. Seattle the lead. Very impressed with that goal. And there we go. There are the Seattle now fans. Ladero can go find the game. So Vargas slides over. Ladero slides in here. It's quite good, actually, because what they've done is uh, Seattle, they've moved the ball backwards to invite Portland Timbers to press a bit higher. You can see here the back line here. They're just squeezing up a bit more. And look, look how many players currently are offside here uh, for Seattle. So it looks good. It looks a good shape. But then they just transition really quickly. But now you know you can play between the lines. You can combine. This is just... Look at the... Too much space. Now, this is a problem, guys. This is a problem. This is a problem. Just doing some tactical analysis here. You've got a back four here for Portland, okay? And then you've got a front four almost for Seattle. It's a four on four. But look at this space in here. Now, look at that space in there. How has that so much space been left there? That's dangerous. Portland Timbers defend. Chasing shadows, looking for half a spaces. Great run from Yeah, Obed Portland's Vargas, all over the place. That cutback is back unbelievable. That cutback and finish is unbelievable. That kind of game for a number nine. Very few touches. Great finish. Very few clean touches. Great, great matter. finish. But yeah, just interesting in that shape there. All right, can Portland uh, respond? You, you hit them. No. Claudio Bravo. Where are they going? Where are they Moreno. going? Put it in. Get a spray! Oh, Tyrone Espria! 
Oh my god. In his signature sensational style. Timber I'm speechless. As if he's just pulled that out in a rivalry match in a game of so much magnitude. He's just pulled out a bicycle kit and it's I've got to watch it. I've got to watch that again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. I would be going crazy. I'd be jumping in the crowd right now. Apparently against the run of play as well, just context there. Right, the ball puts into an area. Bang. Up. Look at that. He's set. He's made up his mind. Something special. Oh. And how many times has it been that man? Look at De this. Ronis the way he just gets Ria, up. The confidence. The Boom. But it doesn't matter. Asprella. Asprella. Asprella from Asprella. Hitch kick. Ball in the back of the net. It's 1-1. Portland, Seattle. Take a bow. Dirona Spria. Dirono Sprilla. Asprella from Frilla. My man, that is unbelievable. One all. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I love the celebration as well. Love the flips. Mario. Don't tell me that goal. Well, have I got a feeling that goal rejuvenates Portland here? As I said, I don't know the scoreline in it. It, does, it gives you no giveaway on these highlights reels of what the score are. But I've got a feeling now Portland are going to come strong here. That, that, that goal has probably changed the momentum of this game. Mosquera. Mosquera going for Mos goal. And it's just over the bar. Mosquera what there. an effort that is, Arto Moreno. Portland now, isn't it? They are ticking. Well, Seattle have crumbled here. They can't get over it. What a touch that is. You get around him. That's this unbelievable. Is this is unbelievable. Nathan this is, is unbelievable. Is what an unbelievable goal. What an unbelievable goal. And they've taken a 2 1 lead. For Gaka, what an unbelievable it's goal. The pace, the power, the first touch, the resilience. Ago. That had everything. Look at these fans. Look at these scenes. Look at this guy with a little hat here. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of swearing going on there. Absolute limbs. But it was the first touch to get him out of trouble, then the power, the pace, and the, the resilience to keep on going. <laughs> I love this. What's this hat about? Oh, look at Coach with his scarf. I love that. What's his name? That first touch is world class. Out his feet, around the corner, into the space, left the defender for dead. But he's still got a lot to do from here to score. Still got a lot to do. Still got a lot to do. He brushes off that defender, says, No, thank you. So you've got to... Keeper maybe should have done better. Goalkeeper maybe should have done better for Seattle and save that, but I can't take anything away from how he's got into that position. Be committed with the first touch, and then it's this second one here, pulling Jackson Reagan away. What a Scraping. fantastic goal from the Portland Timbers. And completely... Keeper should be saving that. I'm going to be really critical. Keeper should be saving that. Should be saving Park. that. Oh, what have Seattle got about them? They can't get on the ball. Great touch. Oh my god, great one too. Oh, keeper. No, no, no. Keeper stinking this place out here. I mean, great play at the right time, but what is this goalkeeper doing? You're stinking the place out, man. You've got to be ca catching that. Great scenes, great limbs. Look at those fans, they are jubilant. Fry the keeper. Fry the keeper is about to get fried from me. How come every time I stop I've got someone doing that? <laughs> Fry is about to get fried from me because I need to see this again. He's either got to palm that to the side or catch it. What a prat. He's hit at him. Look at that, it's at him. Catch it, catch it. And he palms it into the worst area. Felt like he had it, Moreno's on top of it. It's been all the Portland Timbers. Two goalkeeping errors. Minutes, Dirono Spria and the bicycle kick has woken up this building, has woken up the Portland Timbers. I agree with the commentators there. That bicycle kick clearly has rejuvenated them, got the crowd on their feet electric. Very much reminds me of Arsenal versus Liverpool, where Granite Xhaka made that horrendous error of getting in a tangle with Trent Alexander-Arnold. And it basically, where Arsenal 2-0 up, and it lifted the whole Anfield field and the Liverpool fans and Liverpool found themselves way back into it. It's amazing that impact. Potentially save their season. I can't look at that goalkeeper. Try. What's he doing? He Just catch it.
Montero Nein. goes down. Drew Fisher tells Pen. him to get up. Wow, I thought that was a penalty. Clearly a dive. Massive counter-attack on here. I wonder if we get to see a replay, but that looked like a penalty. First action. Or it could have been a dive. Referee's in a good position, though. Counter. Here we go. Now Paredes leading the break. It's open for Portland. Oh, my God. What a counter. Paredes. No. Mascara taking it himself! Jesus Christ! That is a rocket! What a counter-attack that is. That's blistering counter-attack. Seattle could do nothing about it. It's an absolute unbelievable counter. Some poor defending, but what a finish. Mosquera. Mosquera. What a finish, lad. The Portland Timbers are absolute... I love this from the management team as well from Portland. They're proper going for it, aren't they? They're proper going for it in their celebrations. Absolutely flying. A final 20 minutes. Mosquera. That will go down in their story of this season. I love this coach. I love that he wears a scarf. I love this guy here. He's great. Look at this, though. What a blistering counter-attack. He comes inside. Top bins have some of that. Now you've got players running forward. Mascaro's hit two or three. Unbelievable. Going forward. This one, Keeper. The keeper's got no chance no that chance one. Why is he diving with one so hand? But what a finish that is. Four one. Oh my god, it's not going to be five one, is it? Here we go. Consolation goal, maybe. The field. This team woke up. Montero, Give it them. The volley, good save. Good it's save. To keep it for good save. One. Still not a strong enough effort, but Reagan good save. That's the final whistle from Drew Fisher. Full time. 4-1. What a thrashing in a rivalry that is. And how Seattle seems so in control. Remarkable turnaround. Four goals in the final 19 minutes from the And there is the man of the moment. And as they said, four goals in the final 19 minutes is pretty crazy, actually, in a rivalry game. From my observation, it did seem that Seattle were very much in control of the first half. Portland weren't in it. And then a crazy 19 minutes his goal this man's goal Aspereira he's changed this game his wonderful interpretation of a bicycle kit his wonderful execution of it lifted the fans it was a brilliant goal to see I've got to say the goalkeeper has probably made two howlers for me in terms of uh, the uh, Seattle keeper, I think he should have saved the second and third goal. You can't do anything about that fourth goal. That is a rocket. It is an unbelievable goal and a great counter-attack. And hey, this might kickstart Portland season. If you did enjoy this type of reaction and you like this type of video, please leave a comment. And let me know which other videos you want to watch. Also, smash a like and subscribe if you are new. Appreciate it, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Ta-da!